What is coming to Assassin's Creed Odyssey in March? Well, Ubisoft has not announced it yet, but I already learned some news in my recent interview with the live content director Bruno. Plus, that they are working on a really, really big feature that I can't wait for. And also, I learned about things that they are not working on, including legacy content. We also got some small Assassin's Creed 3 remastered footage and way more. So, it's gonna be a good one. You ready? Okay then, if you enjoyed that, then a like would be super appreciated, and let's go! If you didn't know, I'm running a giveaway right now for the new upcoming Abstergo Elite Gear Pack. Just follow the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment for a chance to win, and be sure that you are subscribed to the channel as well before you enter. And as noted before, I think it's coming either this Tuesday or the week after, but either way, it will be part of that March monthly content video that Ubisoft, by the way, already teased. Every month they of course share what is coming to the game via a video like this. You see the tease right here, but it did not include that much info. Only new gameplay from Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered with a double assassination at the end. But yeah, no surprise that that game will be part of that video because it's of course launching on March 29th for Xbox, PC and PS4 as a standalone version. Or of course as part of the Odyssey Season Pass. They say that the full monthly content March video will be coming next week, so that is the coming week because this tweet went live like a few days ago. So yes, episode 3 of the Legacy of the First Blade that just released will likely be shown in this video again. The Abstergo gear pack, and thanks by the way to Persian Warrior for sending me some new shots of this pack that of course leaked on the PC. And Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered will of course also be shown in that monthly video. But also a new Lost Tales of Greece mission. In my interview with Bruno, the live content director on Odyssey, I learned that the A Friend Worth Dying For mission will be releasing this month. And we of course already saw the trophy for this free mission and also the icon thanks to psntrophies.com. So yes, it will be about Barnabas. So we will likely learn more about his story or just the myths like in general. I can't wait for that. And what is fun is that when I played on the Ubisoft build to play the Legacy of the First Blade episode 3 before it came out, I could already like scout the world map as well for new icons. And while I cannot of course play that content, like the idea is that when I'm at Ubisoft I only play the Legacy of the First Blade episode 3. Either way, I could already see this Lost Tales of Greece icon on the map. It's in Skyros and called an Odyssey into the past with a recommended level of level 50. And I'm not sure if that is for everyone, but I started this build on level 52 and it did not scale to my level. Again, I can't show you anything else about this mission, but it will go live pretty pretty soon. I think March 19th or maybe even the coming Tuesday already as these missions now always appear with the weekly reset. I will of course be streaming that weekly reset on Tuesday the moment it goes live and then see if either the Abstergo pack or this new mission will appear. Because with Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered launching in the final week of March, I think that we get either the gear pack or the mission in the coming week or the week after. So yes, we had a new Lost Tales of Greece mission every month since launch and that is likely going to continue for the foreseeable future. We also had a new legacy item every month since launch, only nothing in February. And well, nothing is also coming in March, because Bruno confirms that they have no new legacy content planned for Odyssey at the moment, and they already added more legacy content to the game than they first planned. Like I asked them about the awesome outfits that we of course want and saw in almost every Assassin's Creed game, including last year in Origins. But yeah, nothing planned on that legacy outfit front as well. And the reason is that they want to focus more on bringing new and unique things to the game, creating new stuff, instead of looking back to the past and see what they've done like many times before. So yeah, sad news for sure because I would have loved to at least see one or two outfits like the Bayek outfit or the Ezio outfit, but no, we should not expect that. What they are working on though, and I'm really excited about this, a build feature. So that we can easily switch between gear and abilities without having to manually like put all the ability points in the abilities that we want or select all our gear pieces one by one. So good to note is that they don't want to officially announce this feature yet, say like, oh it's coming then and then, but they are hard at work to make this a reality, 
and that is really good news, of course, because there are just so many playstyles that you can do in Odyssey. We, of course, have Warrior, Hunter, and Assassin, but it goes even further, like with the specific weapons, the perks, like hitting enemies when you are low health, something like that, and we always get more interesting perks coming to the game, like the one from the new sword focused on the charged heavy attack. And I really like to switch between those playstyles because the game will feel different because of that. But right now it's just a pain because it takes a few minutes before you got everything in place again. So it's great that they're looking into this and making it easier to switch between all the different builds. So again, no release date for this yet. I don't think it's coming in March, maybe not even in April, but it is coming in the end and that is really cool to know. Because when I asked Bruno know about this feature in November I think they were not looking into this yet so it's great to hear that they are now working on a build feature so that is one of my most requested features but I know a lot of people really want headgear or hoods in cutscenes for example and I think that would be awesome too but as I noted before, this is not something that Ubisoft is working on. I asked it in the interview again because I got reached out by Allison on Twitter at Yoraptor. Totally follow me there, of course, if you haven't already. Who actually had a cutscene in the New Game Plus mode where Cassandra was still wearing her Athena pack hood, as you see right here. Looking pretty cool, as you expect. But it's sadly nothing more than just a weird glitch. It's not something that appeared in the game because they are working on it behind the scenes. So Ubisoft confirmed to me again that this is not something that we should expect and the reason is that they want to show you the facial expressions and the emotions from the character when like talking to people something that of course was really necessary in the third episode of the legacy of the first blade i mean if you could play the dlc with like a headgear that would cover your whole face then it would really take away from some of the moments in that dlc but a hood like this that doesn't like cover your whole face could of course still work although maybe it's too big of an undertaking to do it while the game never was made with that in mind I don't know, but again, this is not something that is coming to Odyssey. Just like auto-crafting for arrows other than the basic ones, right now we of course have to manually craft them again and again, and that's why I'm like not really using the death arrows for example, because it really takes you out of the combat if you have to go to the menu all the time. Well again, this is not something that is planned because these special arrows cost a lot of resources, and they are scared that if people put on the auto-crafting, that they like lose a lot of resources without really realizing it. I can kind of see where they're coming from, but maybe make it so that it's only available for people over level 70 or something, or only if you have a specific amount of the resources. But again, this is not something that is planned. What they do plan to add are more surprises for the mounts. I really like the boom mount they added with the Dionysos pack, it looks great. But the main reason is of course that it's the first mount that is not a horse in Odyssey. They made a whole set of new animations for it, so spend a lot of time making it, according to Bruno. So I asked if we can expect more of these sort of unique mounts in the future, different mounts than horses, and he said that there might be some more surprises coming up, but he did not want to spill the beans just yet. So at least good to know that we can look forward to more different types of mounts. I would expect another bull, simply because, again, they spent so much time making these animations, so maybe a different version of the boom mount we already got but I also hope that we get another rideable animal in the future. When Ubisoft posted their post-launch content plans for Odyssey we learned that the discovery tour that we of course saw in Origins already will also be coming to Odyssey. And while Bruno still could not share a release date or any specific details, he did say that it was coming and that the philosophy will remain the same compared to Origins, but that we should see in terms of style of content, like how creative the team can be. And as I speculated before, I really think that the Discovery Tour will be pretty different in Odyssey. I think that just not enough people cared in Origins in the end, and that it was like a big undertaking for Ubisoft that did not really pay off. So I think we should not expect like a same sort of full-blown mode as in Origins. But again, that is just me speculating. I hope I'm wrong, of course. It's just weird that they are so quiet about this, while with Origins they put a ton of attention behind this. I mean, it was not even in the post-launch content trailer for Odyssey, just in a blog post. So yes, we will see about that, but sadly no new details from Bruno at this time. I even think that we will see the first Atlantis story episode before the Discovery Tour, and I by the way got some really cool info on that DLC that I can share later. Like really can't wait to share that info, totally keep an eye out on the channel for that. But we got the weekly reset in the foreseeable future with the Abstergo gear pack, and also the Lost Tales of Greece mission of course. Again, either this Tuesday or the week after that, and of course that March video is also coming in the coming days, hopefully with some surprises 
bonuses as well, like new quality of life features or content, just like we always see with these big updates. So curious to hear more about the next patch as well. Ubisoft, by the way, said to me that they will change up the monthly video again in terms of presentation. So it should be new and different from the other videos that we saw before. When it goes live, I will, of course, let you know here on the channel. So totally subscribe for everything Assassin's Creed Odyssey if you haven't already. I can't wait to share those Atlantis details as well really, really soon. Like the video to support the channel. And now let's go to Sargon, as we always do, to see if we can finally get the freaking Hades Lieutenant. Yo, thanks for the sword, but I don't really need you anymore, so can you leave? Because I'm just trying to speak with Sargon. Okay, uh, sorry for those marks. Oh, okay. <laughs> the guy that was supposed to sit there is already gone. Either way, let's go and get the freaking Hades Lieutenant, or of course try. I had some epic items before this, so might be time for a new legendary you know. Oblight helmet, hunter, all damage. I don't like the distant target one. Um, because yeah, as I said many times before, oh damn it. I really have to do some inventory management. Yeah, wh what do, what am I going to do now? Okay, new target inside. Oh. Yeah. We're, we're, it's some improvisation here. I did not expect them to... Oh. Okay. We do it like this. Subscribe for everything Odyssey. Wanna, wanna change things up, of course, sometimes. But yeah. Normally, I will focus on this guy. Like the video to support the channel. Check out that Abstergo gear pack giveaway. The winner will be selected after I do my review video about the pack. Check out my previous video on some big changes coming to the Eco Store. And I will speak to you next time. Goodbye.